most excellent friends and cheap shot nation. I am your host Luke S Preston Esquire and I would introduce Ted Theodore Logan but he's not here at the moment he's, he's, he's off doing something else. We're going to review Bill and Ted face the music for quick shot reviews and I am your host Luke. Bill and Ted face the music was directed by Dean Parasot and obviously he's been released in 2020, September 2020, a difficult time to release a movie and it was written by Chris Matheson. Again split opinions here, it's got 82% on Rotten Tomatoes as we speak, 65% on Meta and 6.3% out of 10 on IMDb, completely splitting the critics. I really enjoyed this one. Again, I'm going to say that right out of the bat. If you've seen the original movies, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey, then you will absolutely love this one. It's a return to nostalgia, lots of nods and winks to the old films, and it's good to see Keanu and his box like face uh, actually showing a modicum of emotion I think I think it was emotion anyway uh, when he says whoa you can really feel the tension you know anyway so they've been once told to save the universe during a time traveling adventure the two would-be rockers from San Dimas, California, find themselves as middle-aged dads still trying to crank out a hit song and fulfil their destiny of saving the world, dude. Um, so it does star Keanu Reeves as Ted Theodore Logan and Alex Winter as Bill S. Preston Esquire. They are flanked by Kristen Schaal as Kelly, who is Rufus's daughter. Rufus, unfortunately, is no longer with us. Love you, dude. Uh, Samara Weaving as Thea. She is Ted's daughter. Uh, Will you, uh, sorry, Bridget Lundy Payne plays Billy, who is Bill's, uh, sorry, is it? Hold on. Yeah, Thea is, is Bill's daughter, Billy is Ted's daughter, there we go, right, okay, now we've got that cracked. <laughs> um, yeah, so Bridget Lundy Payne, she did a really good job going, whoa, and doing the whole server chick thing. Um, did it exactly like Keanu Reeves, and it was really, really fun. Uh, William Sadler, Sadler returns to his role as Death, the greatest bass player of all time. Um, see his 43 minute solo, it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, Anthony Cardigan plays Dennis Caleb McCoy, who uh, is the killer robot sent to kill Bill and Ted. Erin uh, Hayes plays Elizabeth and Jamie Mays plays Joanna, of course they are Bill and Ted's wives who they brought back from medieval England in the first film. And I would say if you're going to watch this film please do go back and watch the other films as well. They are brilliant, um, they've certainly got a cool following. Um, but in terms of critic and things like that in 2020 there would be some or a lot of critique of those films but going to this film as you would go into those films it's just a fun ride and in fact it's really not actually that funny it's just a massive nostalgia hit and it's got a really excellent and I mean excellent dude story and, and they really run with it. They're travelling through time, the phone booth is there, the future selves are there, you get to see Keanu Reeves and Bill Winter, or, hold on, sorry, Alex Winter, please, Bill, uh, as, as 
muscle bound thugs. They go through all of the stages of being a rocker, having big beards, um, lots of piercings, being bikers and, and all that kind of stuff. It's just fun and it's just really, really fun. Dave Grohl appears in this one as they break into their house and, and try and steal the um, song that's going to save the world from their future selves and that is the basis of the film keep traveling further and further into the future to try and find this song and it, it in the meantime the daughters are traveling through time in an egg yeah an egg uh, trying to assemble a you know the greatest people in musical history and that includes people like um yeah i forgot all the all the names now <laughs> yeah all the people that they assemble um like avengers like the first film where they go back and they have to do the history report report and get all the people there napoleon and all that kind of stuff the daughters do that this time and it becomes clear that the destiny lies somewhere within the name of the family. But most of all, the film has taught me one thing. Be excellent to each other, dudes. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. Really fun movie. Uh, like I say, go into it thinking that it's it's just a Bill and Ted movie. It's not going to break the internet. It's not going to break any box office records. But what it is going to do is provide you with a lot of entertainment. And to me, that is exactly what I look for in a film, which is the reason I did not like Tenet. Because it provided absolutely zero amounts of fun and enjoyment for me. So there you go. Bill and Ted face the music equals better than tenant fight me anyway you are the cheap shot nation i have been your host luke and i'm going to go now before the internet trolls get me about saying what i said about tenant goodbye